Circle geometry con cyclic points. That's what we mean by that is points that lie on a circle. Con meaning sharing, cyclic meaning circle. Now, as I say, let's play the what if game. You'll find that if you watch these videos once I'm doing riders, I play a lot of the what if game. What if four points do lie on a circle? Yes, those two angles would have to be equal to one another. So in other words, if we had to prove four points are concyclic, if there was no circle there, if that was equal to that, then these would lie on a circle and it would be called converse, angles in the same segment. In the same way, if that equals that. Another what if four points lie on a circle. And there's our cyclic quadrilateral theorem. Remember that the opposite angle cyclic quadrilateral says that if a quadrilateral is cyclic, then the opposite angles are supplementary, add up to 180 degrees. Well, if you have a quadrilateral which isn't in a circle but whose opposite angles add up to 180, then it is cyclic and the reason would be converse opposite angle cyclic quad. And a final one. There we are. Notice we produced a side there to form the exterior angle. And the exterior angle equals the interior opposite angle. So if there was not a circle there, but you had a quadrilateral where the exterior angle equaled the interior opposite angle, then this would have to be a cyclic quadrilateral by converse exterior angle cyclic quad. So here are the theorems. Converse angles in the same segment. If that angle equals that angle, the tips of the bow tie, then it does lie in a circle. Same as those angles there. Reference converse angles in the same segment. Notice if you're saying it, if the line segment joining two points subtends equal angles at two other points, so if there was a line segment here subtending equal angles there, on the same side of it, then the four points concyclic. It's quite difficult getting the wording right for that theorem, that converse, if you have to say it. So, if a pair of opposite angles of a quadrilateral is supplementary, then the quadrilateral is cyclic. There we are. Adding up to 180 means it must lie in a circle. Converse, opposite angle, cyclic quad. If the exterior angle of a, of a quadrilateral is equal to the interior opposite angle, then the quadrilateral is cyclic. So if that equals that, it follows that it must lie in a circle. So let's show that PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. My thought process says, well, what if we play the what if game? So there it is, my thought process, and it says, well, what if it was cyclic? Oh, that will equal that. Notice I'm using exterior angle cyclic quad. I usually find it far better, well, the converse, than using the opposite angle cyclic quadrilateral. I very seldom use the opposite angles, so the exterior angle cyclic quad is usually easier to use. So I'd need that equal to that. If this was cyclic, that would be 40 degrees. Well, let's find that angle. SPT is equal to 35, subtract from 75, because by exterior angle triangle, that equals that plus that, which gives you 40. So now we have SPT equal to R, and therefore cyclic, and your reason, converse exterior angle cyclic quad. Now, proof PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. So, here's my thought process. There is my 
circle would be going through there if PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. And of course, that would equal that, or that would equal that. Either way around. So I'm going to find that and that, or that there. So, Q is 60 degrees. Extra angle, triangle. Remember, that plus that equals 110. MRS is 60. That angle there, adjacent angle, straight line, which equals Q. So we have now proven that that angle equals that angle. You could just as easily prove that angle equals that angle. Therefore, PQR is cyclic, and the reason, converse angles in the same segment. Third one, we have to name two cyclic quadrilaterals in this figure with reasons. Well, there's one. Can you see why? What if it was cyclic? Oh, well, that would equal that, or that would equal that, or both. And I say, Aha, we already have that. Have a look, there's a 90, so that's got to be 90. There's a 90, so that's got to be 90. So therefore, my reasoning, D1 equals 90 equals E1, E2, adjacent angle straight line. Therefore, cyclic, because we already have now the converse of angles in the same segment. There's one cyclic quadrilateral. Another thought process. There we are. How about that there? Have a look at these two angles there. D1 plus D2 is 180 degrees. Therefore we have cyclic ODCE, converse opposite angle cyclic quad. And so we have those two equal, these parallel, B is 50. You have to prove that A, B, C, D are concyclic. Now when it says prove that four points are concyclic, that would be exactly the same as saying prove that A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. And it does not matter if it's not drawn in. You can picture A, B, C, D. So either prove that those four points concyclic or prove that this is a cyclic quad. Either way is acceptable to be asked. So that's what we need. So we say, well, what if that was the case? What if those did lie on a circle? There we are. We'd have that equal to that, that equal to that. So I'm going to either find those two or those two. Right, so A is 50 degrees. Reason, isosceles triangle. There we are. If your teacher is particular, then you might need to say angles opposite equal sides. But I always teach my class just to say isosceles triangle because they're showing they know what they're talking about. D is 50 degrees because of the Z shape. Alternate angles, parallel lines. So therefore, we've got that 50, that 50. That makes those two equal to one another. Therefore, cyclic, converse, angles in the same segment. Now, that's a more complex figure. What if? So, what if B, C, F, and K are concyclic? B, C, F, and K. So, a circle would have to go through those four points there. Well, that would have to equal that. I won't go for adding up opposite angles just because it's easier to prove equal. That would equal to that. Now, in my thought processes, which I'm going to go into more in the, in the following videos when we're doing riders, if I have to find and uh, prove two angles equal, I say, well, what's the one equal to? So I'm going to start there. If I have to prove that equal to that, I say, well, what is that equal to? Can you see it's equal to that there? Because this is a cyclic quad. We produced a line, so therefore that equals this. And is that equal to that? 
Yes, have a look. Cyclic quad, reduce the line. Right, but now we have angle sizes, so we're going to go from there to there. Here we are, we have a cyclic quadrilateral there. Exterior angle is equal to interior opposite. Now we have the same situation again. So that's exterior angle cyclic quad. Now if you have a look, there we are. We have that angle equal to that angle. Exterior angle, the cyclic quad, shown in the yellow. And that's exterior angle cyclic quad. So now we have that 65, and we've shown that that is 65. Therefore, ABC... A, B, C, that angle there, is equal to that angle there. And if you have a look, that's the exterior angle, that's the interior opposite, making it cyclic. And the reason, converse, exterior angle cyclic quad.